So everybody, mega goal 1.2 unit 3, you've got mail. In this video, I'll be revising with you the vocab and also the grammar which are related to unit number 3. So I'd like you to focus while I'm going through these points very quickly. في هذا الفيديو راح أراجع معكم الكلمات وأيضا القواعد اللي لها علاقة بيونت نمبر 3 You've got mail فأتمنى أنكم تركزون بانتباه وتقرؤون الأسئلة بعناية وبتركيز عشان نعرف إيش المطلوب منا بالضبط Now let's take a look at the first question which is related to the vocab. Now here you have to choose the best answer to each question. مطلوب ان احنا نختار افضل اجابة للسؤال. Now what do you say to someone who just graduated, okay, from college? Okay, كيف ماذا تقول لشخص تخرج من الكلية؟ So, عادة نحن نهنئ الشخص اللي تخرج saying congratulations or congrats. So, congrats is the right answer or congratulations. Okay, now let's take a look at the next question. What do you say to a friend when you forget his or her graduation? This is a situation, بس بالعادة لما مثلا نريد الاعتذار عن أمر ما we say, I apologize. Now, let's take a look at the next question. When someone is on the road, okay, he or she is traveling on a trip. Traveling. So, if you say, I am on the road, it means that هذا الشخص is traveling on the road or on a trip. Now, let's take a look at number four. Now, when a phone call is urgent, urgent, it is, طبعاً urgent means it is very important, ضروري جداً. Now, number five, to import. What does it mean to import? It means to bring something in from another country. عندي كلمة export لما نحن نصدر لكن الاستيراد لما مثلا نجلب أي شيء من دولة أخرى we say import now we will be looking at the grammar the grammar اللي لهذه الوحدة يتكلم عن the preposition plus gerund the preposition معناها حروف الجر plus gerund اللي هي verb ing وأيضا يتكلم عن الأفعال اللي يأتي بعدها um, يعني certain preposition حروف جر معينة فهذه بالعادة تعتمد على الحفظ والممارسة اللي هي بالنسبة لحروف الجر also we are looking at another point لكن لما في الجرامر نقطة أخرى لكن لما أجي عندها راح أتطرق لها now you have to complete each sentence with a preposition from the box okay after studying for weeks, he succeeded passing the exam. Succeeded, we say succeeded in. Okay, نجح في اجتياز الامتحان. Now, number seven, he is tired. What is he tired? He is tired of. So, when you are tired, you say I'm tired of. He is tired of taking classes at night. He'll stop taking them next semester. So we say tired of. Now, are you looking forward visiting your relatives? Now, looking forward, دائماً تجي looking forward to. بعدها يأتي gerund. معرفين إن الجرند معناها verb plus ing. So I say I'm looking forward to meeting you. Now, number nine. Our teacher insists... Okay, insist manaha asarat speaking to us only in English. So insist on asarat ala. Okay. Now number ten, he should apologize arriving late. Apologize at a badaha lazim yati badaha proposition ada ten for ubadha gerund. Okay, lower verb plus ing. Now 
Let's take a look at 11. We have decided going to the beach it is not warm enough. طبعا here واضح من معنى الجملة انهم لن يذهبون الى الشاطئ because the weather is probably cold or it's not warm enough. So decided against. Now 12. Here we are looking at although even though and also in spite of طيب بالنسبة إلى although even though in spite of كلهم لهم نفس المعنى بمعنى على الرغم من لكن إيش اللي يختلف اللي يأتي بعدهم فهير بعد although even though يأتي clause الكلاس يتكون من subject و verb لكن in spite of عادة يأتي بعدها إما اسم أو gerund اللي هو verb plus ing كلهم لهم نفس المعنى as I said previously but what differs that although and even though are followed by a clause while in spite of is usually followed by either a noun or a gerund Alright. طبعا معناهم اللي هو العكس يعني اللي فيك أحيانا تكون جملة فيها contrast now let's take a look at 12 we had fun at the beach the cold weather here the right answer is in spite of now I was sick I still went to school so this is a clause so either even though or although uh, I'd like also to draw your attention to something even though although uh, أو حتى in spite of يأتي comma بالنص لكن لما يأتون بالنص يحلون محل الكوما يعني بداية الجملة يكون في كوما now I like ice cream I'm too full to eat it. any عفوا to eat any so here the right answer is even though okay طبعا شرحت لكم معناها even though although in spite of معناهم انه على الرغم من على الرغم اني احب الايس كريم لكن الان لا استطيع ان اكله لاني يعني مثلا ماي اي ام فول يعني شبعان او يعني معدتي ممتلئه now here we have number 15 my great grandmother used microwave ovens the first microwave oven wasn't invented until the 1940s so here the right answer is didn't use to. من معنى الجملة أعرف إن نما كان في مايكروويف uh, in the past وطبعا دائما نعرف إن didn't لما تدخل على أي فعل أو did فيرجع الفعل الأصلي فتكون use to يعني ما يعني ما أقول didn't use to خطأ didn't use to now number twenty five when I was young, a lot of energy. I was always outside playing or riding my bike. So here the right answer is use to. طبعا يأتي بعدها الفعل في المصدر. وعارفين معنى use to لما اعتدت على فعل أمر ما in the past. But right now, يعني no longer do it. Alright, طبعا وبعد used to يأتي الفعل في المصدر. Now also we have another worksheet to look at. Also which is related to unit number 3. You've got mail. Mega goal 1.2 as well. Now here we have couple of pictures and you are supposed to match them with the right word. So here I'm just going to number them. So here telegraph. This is telegraph. If I say that this is one, but you have enough time to write the word. Okay, this is, of course, this is, is a drum, so drum. So this is will be number two. Okay, now this is what? Oh, oh, yeah. So sometimes we change our minds. Now I discovered that 
I made a mistake. Okay, I apologize for that. Now, طبعا, we should first نقرأ الكلمات. Telegraph, letter, smoke signal, and drum. ونبدأ نحل. اللي مثلا ممكن تكون الأسهل علينا. So here, this is a letter. So I'm gonna write it. I'm just gonna write it. Letter. While this is, is what? This is a drum. This is, is actually a telegraph. ممكن لأني ما شفت واحد. I haven't seen one before. That's, that's why I made a mistake. And this is, طبعا قلنا أنه في الباث they use smoke. Signal to send messages. Now, here you have to fill in the missing letters. Now, email. All right. Office. Meeting. And graduation. All right. Now, here you have to match. Again, read all the uh, words and the definition as well. وبعد هاي you have to decide which one goes with what. No way. Okay, so no way. Let someone down. Of course, be straight. Now, be honest and frank. Uh, طبعا, it is be honest. Won't allow something. Okay. No way. يعني أنا ما راح أسمح بهذا الشيء. Now, if you let someone down, okay, which means disappointing. Disappointed. All right, or disappointment. Now, or you are disappointed of someone. So, this is number two. Now, if you give a permission or encouragement, we can say that we... Say of course. We can say of course. Meaning how you can do it, or of course this is a matter of encouragement. Now also here you have to choose. I apologize. We said that I apologize for. Bad hair t-shirt. The noise was okay. Here loud. So we should say so loud. The people use. طبعاً used. To communicate, we have to add the verb in master. A phone message for you there. طبعا this is singular. فهنا لازم يكون subject verb agreement phase. Here you are supposed to rewrite the given sentences using capital letters or capitalization. Now, انتوا عارفين إنه أي جملة should start with a capital letter. So this is I. أيضا I. This is a word. It's not a letter. فدائما تأتي capital. حتى لو أتت في نصف الجملة أو in the middle of the sentence. So here I'm just gonna highlight it. I to live in Jeddah. So this is Jeddah. Should be it's a city and it should be also capitalized. And I don't forget to end my sentence with a full stop. And it's already there. Now let's take a look at the second sentence. Here is the Holy Quran every day. Now here, of course, he has to start with a capital letter because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Also, we have the Holy Quran. Holy Quran is usually capitalized like Holy Mosque. And the full stop is already there. Just remember that you should underline نضع خط على or highlight uh, I'm highlighting the words that should be capitalized Also, don't forget to read the questions very carefully and know exactly what is asked from you Hopefully that you have enjoyed the lesson and I'll be seeing you in other videos راح أراجع أيضا بقية الوحدات Don't forget to hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. And don't forget as well to subscribe to my YouTube channel.